Welcome to Psychology of the Daf. We are in Gemara Yoma, Daf Nun Gimel. And today we'll talk about balance in prayer and balance in life. The Gemara Nomad Beis tells us that the Kohen Gadol recited a brief prayer when he left the Kodesh HaKadoshim and he was in the Hechel. The Gemara asked what was the prayer and the Gemara said that the prayer was Yerzon Lofanecha, may it be your will, that this year shall be rainy and hot. The Gemara obviously expresses surprise and asks, is heat a good thing? Why should he request that the year be a hot year? So the Gemara says, amended as follows. The prayer is, if the upcoming year is hot, may it also be rainy, lest the heat harm the crops. Now, I must wonder, what are we really praying for? Are we praying that if it's going to be a bad year, it should be good? Why don't we just pray that it should be good? Why even assume that it should be a bad year? Based on the Marsha, I'd like to explain the following. There are different forces in the world, and each one can be either good or bad, depending on proportion. After all, it cannot be too hot, nor can it be too cold. Either one can spell environmental catastrophe. Therefore, the prayer is not to change nature as it were. Rather, the prayer is expressing that this, that should this year need to be an unusually hot year, or should this year need to be an unusually rainy year, we are not asking God to change that nature. In his wisdom, there are reasons for why it is necessary for the overall health of the climate. However, the prayer is that God should allow a balancing force to be brought in in order to mitigate the harmful effects of the excessive other force. That is, if it's going to be hot, there should be more moisture coming in as well. If it's going to be rainy, there should be some heat coming in. This idea also can be understood in terms of personality aspects. As Rambam explains in detail in the beginning of Hilchus Deus, character traits have value. They are only problematic when they are out of proportion. In fact, as I pointed out in other discussions, the Hebrew word for character trait is mida, which means measure. That's an important idea because it indicates that the trait itself is not problematic. No, rather it is the degree to which it is employed that can either be helpful or problematic. Think of it like ingredients in a cake. You need salt and you need sugar. Neither ingredient is bad nor good. What is bad or good in the cake is the correct portion, proportion of salt and sugar. So too with character traits. The prayer here is not asking God to eliminate the features of the coming year, because nothing that's happening is by itself good nor bad. The prayer is to ask God to help bring in balancing and mitigating forces so that the experience could be of the highest benefit.